So Niantic has just announced changes to remote raiding that was leaked by in-game text changes a few weeks ago. And it does seem to be worse than most of us originally thought, so I'll just go through the announcement and then I'll give my thoughts on the situation. So in the post, Niantic has said, These changes are designed to rebalance the game and ensure it's enjoyed by trainers for years to come. These changes will go into effect on April 6th, 2023 at 11am PDT. So firstly, the pricing adjustments. The price of the Remote Raid 3 pack will be increasing from 300 poker coins up to 525 poker coins, and the price of a single Remote Raid pass will increase from 100 poker coins up to 195 poker coins, which is quite a lot. It's almost double, and it's more than I did initially expect there to be an increase. I thought it Maybe they would increase by about 50 coins, up to like 150, but I didn't expect 195 poker coins. I think that is quite a lot. I think for free to pay players, that's going to be quite difficult because that would require four days of the maximum coins from gyms just to get one remote raid pass. So I think that's going to be a very difficult change for a lot of people that are free to play. And I guess to soften the blow of these remote raid pass price adjustments, a premium battle pass 3 pack is going to be added to the shop for the price of 250 poker coins. I think that is good that they've added that and I think they should do things like that to incentivize people going out and playing like they want the game to be. But I think really that this is just to take the heat off the remote raid pass price adjustments. For remote raid participation limits, so these are the things that were alluded to in the text changes that we saw leaked a few weeks ago. So trainers will be able to participate in a maximum of five remote raid passes per day. This maximum may change and increase for special events. So this will be five a day and then maybe on very special occasions like maybe go fests or go tours, things like that. But I can't imagine it being very often that they do change this. For some other changes they're making, remote raid passes will be included in the pool of potential rewards from research breakthroughs. I think this is pretty good. I mean, that's, this means that you could get potentially a free remote raid pass from research breakthroughs, which is good because it incentivizes people to do research breakthroughs and it's a fairly decent reward. However, there is currently a three remote raid pass inventory limit and it says remote raid passes earned via research breakthroughs will be subject to the existing inventory limit of these three raid passes per trainer. So if you do earn a remote raid pass from Research Breakthrough while you're at the limit, you'll receive a premium battle pass instead. So make sure that you check your inventory, make sure that you aren't at the limit before you claim your Research Breakthrough because you don't want to lose that remote raid pass, which is quite a lot more valuable than the premium raid pass. It also notes here that purchasing a remote raid pass three pack will still allow you to hold up to five remote raid passes if you purchase it with two remote raid passes already in your inventory and there is one more change here to candy xl and that is trainers who participate in five star raids in person will earn more candy xl than before and i think this is a good way to go about it really i think it's good to add things to the in-person experience to try and incentivize people to do that if that is their core values and that's what they want to achieve with the game and then at the end of this announcement Niantic have a brief statement on why they're doing it so it says since their introduction in 2020 remote raid passes have come to dominate the experience of playing Pokemon Go in a way we never intended rewarding trainers with additional XL candy and adding other new features are two of the ways we hope to further incentivize playing Pokemon Go in person with your friends, family and community. We plan to keep remote raid passes as part of Pokemon Go, however we believe this change is necessary for the long term health of the game and we do not make it lightly. We feel this is a necessary step toward our goal of preserving and improving the unique experience of playing Pokemon Go, a game we hope you continue to enjoy long into the future. So that's pretty much it for the announcement, so I just want to go through my thoughts on the situation. Starting with the, I guess, most positive parts of the announcement, one thing to take from this is that they haven't completely removed remote raiding and they don't plan to do that in the future, but I do believe these changes are harsh enough for people to stop playing the game in general, which obviously it's harmful to the game, but I have seen people on social media already saying that they are going to quit and drop out of the community as a result of these changes. I think if Niantic want to encourage more gameplay around their core values of going outside and meeting up with people, I think it would be better if they focus on adding things to the game 
and to the in-person experience to incentivize people to do these in-person activities rather than taking away things from the game which they have done with the Candy XL but I think realistically I think it would have been more beneficial to the the community if they had reduced the drastic changes to remote raid passes a little bit and it could have then boosted the in-person experience a little bit more to incentivize people to do that, overdoing things remotely, which isn't part of their core values. For people that have disabilities who don't have an option to go out and raid, remote raids are the only way they can play the game. And I think increasing the cost of these passes and limiting the amount that they can play in a day just shows that Niantic isn't really too bothered about the accessibility of the game for these people. I'm honestly not too sure if this is something Niantic would potentially revert. It doesn't seem like they will because this is the steps they're taking to try and get the game back to the way they wanted it to be originally. So I'm not too sure if we'll see any reversion of these changes in the coming days, but I guess we'll have to just wait and see. So let me know your thoughts in the comments about remote raiding, your experiences, your points of view, what you think this will do to the game, how it will affect it and how it will affect your personal experience. If you like my content, consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one.